Hi everybody, Patrick here from EscapeRoomElectronics.com. Uh, about a month ago I premiered my 9-in-1 Escape Room prop set that had two RFID props, a bomb prop, a combination lock prop, a coin prop, a key switch prop, um, two RFID props and two light sensor props. Sorry if I repeated myself there. Uh, nine all-in-one with a ton of hardware, oh, a, a, laser, a laser grid heist prop. Um, and I mentioned back at the time that I wanted to make an expansion board that's compatible with the controller board. And what I've done here is I've done just that. This little expansion board adds two programs to the set, a uh, human circuit prop and a secret knock prop. And I'm going to show you how to use them uh, right now. So if you've watched all of my other video manuals, you'll know that on the main board, I'll, look, I'll show you the back of the set in just a little bit, uh, the, there's a dip switch that allows for you to select which program. And, uh, and for this program, uh, we're going to set it to program zero, or to program one rather, which is the coin prop. And we're also going to turn this key right here to the right. And then we're going to power up. Oops. Sorry about that. Power up. The human connection program. The human connection program. And the magnetic lock is activated. So the neat thing here is this is the first, uh, there's a, an alligator clip right here connected to a piece of copper and uh, this the, and extended via 1.5 meter cable same here another copper plate connected via 1.5 meter cable and if I uh, touch these two really quick nothing happens but it's very sensitive when you uh, connect hands with a bunch of different people and uh, and touch both sides and as you can see the electromagnetic lock just deactivated so I'll let go Maglock is deactivated. Just watch it. Deactivated, activated. Deactivated, activated. Very sensitive. A nice little circuit. And uh, so what will happen is for that specific prop, again, all of these props are extremely easy to set up using the control board. Each video has a manual, or each prop has a video manual. This one is just so simple. All you need plugged in are the keys, the maglock, and of course, uh, these uh, alligator clips come connected to the expansion board. So that's all this specific prop does. Um, and the idea of an 11-in-1 escape room prop set is that it's an investment prop. You invest in it, and you can reuse it and reuse it for different uh, different rooms. And the nice thing is, is I have listings that include uh, uh, two to four expansion boards, or sorry, uh, two to four controller boards. So you can use any of the four uh, props at the uh, at the same time. So, uh, what if we want to uh, what if we want to use the secret knock uh, uh, program? For the secret knock program, what I'll do is I'll turn this key to the right, set to the main board to uh, program one to communicate with the expansion board. The expansion board has three LEDs. Green uh, indicates that it's receiving a knock. Blue it means either successfully programmed a code or you've it's received a correct code or knock and red means either weight or incorrect combination. So uh, you probably won't be able to see the LEDs. I'll show them to you when I show you the back of the board. So I've got this turned right. I'm going to power up, turn this left, wait for the red LED to turn off. The secret knock program. Now I can program in my knock. And you can see the knocks with the green LED. So the green, I, I've programmed in my knock, the blue LED turned on, the mag lock is uh, activated. And now it's deactivated. And in order to reset, I turn this to the right and then back. And then what I'll do is I will enter in a, an incorrect code. Now let's try it again. And there we go. So that's the secret knock program. Again, to to uh, to communicate with the expansion board. We have to be in a set to, set to program one. Uh, if I have all keys turned to their default position, uh, what will happen is I'll enter into uh, program one, which is coin selection mode. Uh, in which case, if I uh, it'll say program one. If I insert four coins, it'll say um, uh, coin coin received. I forget exactly what I have it programmed as because that was uh, actually why not show a demo? I've shown all the demos before, but why not? So I've got all my keys turned left. I've set to program one, which is the uh, coin selection mode. I've set my my module to receive ten Icelandic kroner. Incorrect coins will be received through the slot. So what I'll do is I will power it up. Program one. 
Now, an incorrect coin will be returned through the slot. It's on an angle right now, so I have to put it forward. And if I put a correct coin in, I'm just going to put this forward a little bit. Um, coin accepted. Coin accepted. Coin accepted. Magnetic lock deactivated. And there you go. Uh, it's a fun one, but again, this is this just barely touches the surface. If you haven't already checked out, check us out at escaperoomelectronics.com. Uh, this set, I have designed it so that um, it can be used for so many different applications. There's 11 in 1 props. I will be making some large, large uh, scale versions of this that have just a ton of hardware for a very re reasonable price relative to what you actually receive. And uh, what I'll do is I'll wirelessly Magnetic lock activated. reset it with my key fob because there is a wireless receiver in the back. Let me give you a quick look at the back of this um, at the back of this set before I end the video. This may look like a fair bit of jumbling of wires, but it's actually not so bad. Uh, these are all low voltage, low current um, connectors, connections. I've had to remove some of the cable ties just so that I can make changes to the board. Obviously you wouldn't need to have all of this uh, mounted at the same time I mounted it specifically for this video. Uh, right here we've got, I'm just going to unplug the audio connector that's going to my computer speakers. What we've got right here are the loose connections to the um, copper plates that are included. And I've got them all, they're, they're, they're loose right now because I needed to extend them. But what I would do is I would cable tie those up obviously. We've got our magnetic lock, which is sometimes, for some props, connected right here. This is our siren connector. We're not using that. We use that for the bomb prop. This connects back to the keypad. This is the uh, the piezo sensor that acts to work with the expansion board for the knock. It's connected right here, just cable tied in here. Got our um, coin receiver module that is temporarily connected here. And key one, right here, would be connected right in here if we weren't using the coin module to save power and of course we've got the siren which is right now it's loose because we're not using it the whole point of making this was uh, mounting this was just to give you a better idea I'll make some more videos because I'm really 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 happy with how this set turned out it's there's just so much uh, there's there's so much that can be done and the neat thing is is if you're not using the expansion board you're using one of the props for uh, that include the timer you simply disconnect from here and connect to the timer and now the timer is ready to go. Um, so that's everything. That's uh, that's obviously not everything. This comes, comes with a ton of hardware, a ton of hardware, but that's seen in other videos. I just wanted to show off the uh, human connection expansion board right here, uh, which also carries the secret knock program. So if you haven't already, check us out at escaperoomelectronics.com. Thanks for your time and have a great day, everyone.